my days, that hit me in the face. Shit, I actually really don't remember where I'm going right now. I am now a refugee from the UK, living in Brazil. Oh my god, I've missed it again. I've actually missed it again. Tudo bem? Tudo bem? I'm learning, aprender Portuguese. Ah. Ah. <laughs> what is good people? Welcome back to another video. Hope you are all well. I'm actually on my way to go get my hair cut. I'm actually running a little bit late, so I'm gonna start moving now. And for some reason, my map isn't working, so I'm gonna have to try and remember where it is, and I can't really remember. Uh, but yeah, before we set off, I just wanna give a special mention to this 362 sent me uh, a lovely care package a long time ago, back when I was actually back in the UK, but I haven't had a chance to use it um, until now. I get a lot of people saying, oh, they wanna start motor vlogs and this kind of thing, and what camera they should get. And to be honest, I would recommend now to get the Insta360 because of the capabilities of the camera and I'm not just saying that I am going to be using the Insta360 a lot in my content oh my day see that beat boom you're getting a whole view of everything that's happening in front of you around you behind you like you get the whole lot so there's no chance that you'll miss any of the content which is just amazing so yeah i'll leave a link in the description if you want to go cop one of these but yeah the camera really is great guys so if you want to get into motor vlogging start filming your own content and that kind of thing then i definitely recommend you get one of these cameras because they're brilliant oh my days that's hit me in the face and that car is going the wrong way what is she doing silly woman but yes today today's video rather Ooh, should we get one of them a thousand likes i'll get one Today's video is basically for everyone who's been asking me, oh, when are you coming back to the UK? Like, and asking me all these questions about what's really going on. I haven't actually spoke about it um, in an actual video. I've kind of just touched on it in other videos, but I'm going to dedicate this video to it because I'm getting a lot of questions and I feel like it's only right I bring you guys up to speed with what the f I'm going through. What the f is going on? So, to state the obvious, I'm in Brazil to create content on my new MT-09. But I'm not just here to create content, which we'll touch on in a little bit. A lot of people have been saying, and I was kind of expecting this, not everyone has enjoyed the move to Brazil. Ooh, been been Who said that? Who said that? Who said that? Which is fair enough. All I can do is change your mind with the, the content that I'm going to be able to produce here. And I just want you to think about it this way. If I was in the UK right now, I would not be able to film practically any content. Shit, I can't remember where I'm going. Shit, I actually really don't remember where I'm going right now. I want to say it's up there. <coughs> oh shit, I should have gone that way I think. Oh my days, I am f***ing up so bad right now. Right, I need to go there, so now I need to turn around again. So yeah, moving to Brazil has allowed me to still be able to create content because if I was in the UK, I wouldn't be able to create anything at all because the weather is too bad right now. It's, it's just coming into winter, whereas in Brazil now, we're just coming into summer. So that in itself just allows me to create way more f***ing content. So that is why I've moved to Brazil. But you've got to think as well, guys, I haven't actually moved to Brazil. I'm only here for six months. Now, Tarzan has blessed me with an opportunity to miss the UK winter, which I obviously snapped his hand off at because why wouldn't I want to do that? Do you know what I mean? And the plot is no less thick. So you got to think, if you're disappointed about me being here, just think, what would you rather? Would you rather me not be in the UK and not make any content or any good content at all? Or would you rather me be in Brazil and still be making content? Probably and hopefully some of the best content I've ever made as well. So you got to look on the bright side of things, guys. Oh, I'm a moid head. I'm actually a moid head. If you're not a moid head, it is Google it. Fucking going the wrong way. Oh my God, I've missed it again. I've actually missed it again. Right, I need to go over there. Remind myself that way. Down here, down here, down here. This all could have been prevented if I had my maps on. Oh yeah, there's such a Liberty there, by the way. Boom. Interesting. I wonder if it's the same. It's not the same size, is it? Because I swear the Statue of Liberty is mahoosive. That don't look mahoosive. Now, I have to admit as well, not everything has gone to plan in terms of like what we wanted to do. Obviously, we've still got to get tires and a bike, which we're in the process of doing. Hopefully, in about a month or so, he'll be able to get a bike and we can start doing jewel vlogs again, start doing things that you guys enjoy. We were almost both blessed with this opportunity to come out and um, you know be in Brazil for however long. It was originally six months, but I am now a refugee from the UK living in brazil what long story if you want to find out what happened uh go check out this video yeah it's a bit of a oh my days he hasn't seen me oh my days but yeah if you're not enjoying the brazilian content then don't worry i'll be back 
in around about six to eight months time i'm going to be selling this bike when or before i come back so there'll be another new bike in six to eight months of time i don't know what it's going to be fuck knows i kind of want to touch the sport bikes now i'd like to get like a 2013 636 maybe or something along the lines of that just to kind of touch the sport bike scene and then eventually you know go back into the stump riding because that's another thing since i've been here i have to be careful here because i'm not a stump rider i'm a, I'm a wannabe stump rider but yeah my whole stunt riding journey even though it didn't get very far um is obviously just been put on hold ideally i would love to be able to send a stunt bike out here like a 150 something like that learn from the brazilians and i think if i don't do that it's an opportunity wasted i mean how often can you be in brazil and learn from brazilian riders because you probably already know they're fucking crazy But yeah, we're just gonna have to see how things go for a month or two, because um, I basically just worked for so long, built up a load of money, and then kind of sent being out here. Hello, my friends. Oi, e i e. Oh shit, I'm scared. How are you? To the vein. To the vein. I'm learning. Aprender Portuguese. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys, I'm gonna get my hair cut and I'll catch you when I've had my ears load. Oh. Hmm? What's that mean? Yeah. Yeah, so. I don't know. No. <laughs> ciao ciao! I've actually gone for the Brazilian cut. It's a bit sharp, but it's good. It's muy for bomb. Guy knows how to fucking cut hair. It's one of the sketchiest things I was thinking about coming to Brazil was getting my flipping haircut. And um, yeah, I've gone for something different. I've had the same haircut for years. So I was like, you know what? I'm in Brazil. Why not get a Brazilian cut almost? But yeah, I'm gonna make my way to the gym now. I feel like I'm just taking you on my on my day, which isn't a bad thing. But yeah, there's only really one more thing I want to talk about. Obviously, we spoke about like why I'm actually here. But I want to just kind of touch on the direction of the channel like why almost i've decided to do a face reveal even though as i say i'm only going to touch on it a little bit there'll be a whole separate video for that but doing a face reveal just kind of opens up way more opportunities for me to create content for companies and work with other companies but that also means i've had to tone down uh, the riding a little bit not too much but basically just so i don't get dicked in the ass by someone from legal oh my days this looks sketchy as fuck <laughs> it's like a weird thing because like obviously as i said like i want to be i want to be able to stump ride you know that's always kind of been like my main reason for starting this channel i've, I've been wanting to uh, oh my there's a bump there i've wanted to progress as a rider and you know develop the skill of stump riding but you know that all got put on hold because i'm here but as i say i'll touch on that in the different video but just know i'm not going anywhere I'm going to do as much as I can and create the best content I can possibly make with what I've got. But yeah, second part of why I've moved Brazil is all to do with my second channel. So yeah, if you didn't know, oh my days, that's a nice Audi. It's probably one of the nicest cars I've seen here. The color's mad. Uh, why am I waiting? I'm on a bike. So the second channel is another reason to why I'm in Brazil. Uh, as I said, Tarzan blessed me with an opportunity to come here and create motor vlog content, but he's also blessed me with an opportunity to start my journey of self-progression. Now, I've looked after my health throughout my life, but I've never de dedicated time to it. And basically now, So Tarzan's given me a gym plan and a boxing gym plan. So I'm training in the gym for about six to seven days a week, depending on you know what days I might need recovery, but generally six to seven days. And, and then I'm boxing uh, twice a week as well. Fast. I've come to this point in my life where I really want to fucking take care of myself and I realize now with all the studying that I've done how important self-care is. I'm not going to post that on this channel because I don't want to take away the bike side of things because I love bikes. Bikes is like it's almost like a passion project. I think in the UK like everything just kind of dropped off and I didn't feel like I was taking the right direction in my life. Although I love editing and making videos for you guys I really do have to think about you know myself. Myself comes first and as it should with you guys as well no matter what 
what you're doing your health and whatever is more important than anything really which is what i've come to realize but yeah as i say all of the self development all that shit's going to be on the second channel if you do want to follow my journey in brazil not just on the bikes then you know what to do i'll leave a link for you guys below so you can go subscribe to that channel and watch the videos that are on there already but yeah grind is real guys the hustle is real i'm not going anywhere i am coming back to the uk so please don't stress but yeah i'm gonna end the video here anyway because i'm just gonna try and maneuver our way back home and i actually don't even know where i am right now which is kind of funny i hope that's uh, cleared a few things up please make sure to like comment subscribe thank you all very much for watching and i'll see you next video ciao ciao